So what was your reaction to the news that um, Sherry's now pregnant along with the direction that her and Dwight is heading to after that reveal? I, um, I was excited, I was shocked and I was scared and like all of those feelings knowing that, you know, this is a huge undertaking for these characters and for Sherry especially because now it's no longer just about her, it's about you know, this baby that she's carrying and every decision moving forward is that keeping that in mind. So it adds just so much intensity and severity to every moment. Um, and, and moving forward, what is life going to look like, you know, with, with the child and, um, and how that's going to change these characters and their relationships um, to each other even. And so um, I, I was so excited about it because again, it adds like this other, really heavy, big dimension for this, for this, for this couple, um, and especially Sherry. And I, um, yeah, it just, it makes every moment so much more intense. Yeah, it's very intense, especially the fact that this is all happening in the entire area that has a lot of radiation. So right. this could be crazy. Everything is so, everything's so heightened throughout. I mean, we see it throughout the episode, like Sherry, looks like she's dealing with something but nobody knows what's going on with her because every single moment she's needing to consider I can't go outside is this place safe I uh, she hasn't told Dwight yet and everything just becomes intensified um now that this is this is the their new reality yeah it's a new reality for me once my son was born so I completely see it <laughs> it's the most and it's the most beautiful thing okay. like <clears throat> Sorry, I was going to say, uh, my next question for you, uh, was it tough for yourself and Austin to do all those scenes when these two characters was bickering back and forth to the point where they were yelling at each other? Um, oh, with the both of us when we're just fighting all, because there's obviously some subtext of, of what's going on and, and they're not being fully honest with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, again, it's, there's something in the back of her mind that she hasn't addressed. And so every, everything else becomes about something else because they're not being honest and there's this big elephant in the room that they're not addressing, uh, that she's not addressing, I guess. Um, yeah, so it's just, again, everything between these, this couple is just so heightened throughout this episode um, because of this, this little potential, this secret. Yeah, because um, I probably wouldn't want to hide something like that either. Along with the fact that now we got um, baby formula shortages in the real world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, going back to those scenes, um, do you think those scenes with um, yourself and Austin were some of the best that really brought it out of you as an actor, along with the fact that you had to read these in the monologue of the script? How, how do you feel about uh, when it came to developing and crafting these scenes? That's a great question. Uh, I think that there's like just again, such a real moment, like you know, getting pregnant for the first time and sharing it with somebody that you love so much. That is is this beautiful human experience, and um, and it's it's really emotional and and having the chance. And again, it, it's it's so complex because of the world that they're living in and and. and and, and their, their everyday reality just makes, it makes everything so much more challenging. Um, so everything's so much more dramatic, including all of these big scenes, but because they're, they're rooted in so much of what, means, what it means to be human and have this, this beautiful shared moment with each other, um, it, it, it really brought us both to tears. You know, I think there was, um, especially in the scene in the tunnel, it was, it was a, I think we both had a very genuine response to it. You know, Austin is a father, he's a fantastic dad, and I've had the privilege of meeting his son over the years. Um, and then for me, you know, being a young woman that dreams of having a child one day too, it just, it just added this layer of just this realness. And, um, and for once, it's not just about the walkers or strand or anything else it's just about them and about doing this together and i um i love scenes like that you know that also sets into my next question because sooner or later we're going to get the whole standoff between 
all of you against um, Strand. So how do how what was the set feeling of realizing, hey, we're going to war against someone that we used to be friends with? Yeah. I mean, that's always sad when you see people turn and you have to fight against somebody that you love. And, you know, Sherry and Dwight have had that within their relationship too. Um, there are no strangers to those sorts of things. Um, and, and so that's a real sadness. But again, for Sherry and Dwight, about to go into a war with somebody, knowing, having this secret between them, um, as Sherry says at the end of the episode, you know, now we have something worth fighting for. And I think this pregnancy create, has created this catalyst for the both of them to continue down their path as the dark horses, because now it's, it's not just about them anymore. And they're considering, you know, the child that they're bringing into this world. Yeah, it's quite different for me because when we saw Rick and Negan go at it, these two never knew each other. And it's quite different now because Alicia and Strand and everybody else, they all pretty much know each other. So that's quite a good and different aspect. Yeah. Uh, my final question for you, um, whether if it was on the original show, Walking Dead or Fear, um, did you get to take home anything from the set or wanted to take home anything from the set? Oh, that's a great question. What do I like to take home from the set? Um, you know, I love, I, I do love the cloak that Sherry wears throughout this episode. Um, that's like, that's been, that's kind of sentimental. The costumes for me are always so personal. You know, you wear them all season and you, you have these, you know, intense experiences um, in them. Um, and they, they tell such a story. So for me, I, 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 I attach myself to that. And I always, I always love having those personal things. Um, yeah, I'd have to say that, but I haven't taken it yet because I think she's continuing to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I there. Take Good. something that like reminds us, right? You know, I mean, I, I save a lot of my, my scripts, my big scripts that are always, um, and I'll have like the cast sign them scripts <laughs> that, uh, that are meaningful to me. I had a great time speaking with you today, Christina. Hello. Thank you. It's so good to see you again. Yeah, same here. Uh